So the third eye, which is located just about here, as some people call it the first eye, it's associated with the pineal gland. And what is the pineal gland responsible for it? Well, the pineal gland is a part of the endocrine system. So medically, they say it is responsible for the body being able to sense between light and dark, the circadian rhythm. And when it becomes dark, the body knows how to produce melatonin. And so you're able to sleep. Now, from the spiritual perspective, what they're saying is that the third eye is associated with awareness and being able to recognize the I am, the self, it's the awareness of self. So it's different than the eyes that see and create awareness around what is around you for you to determine who you are. The third eye, it is believed is able to help you to determine who you are based on your presence in the universe. Now, a lot of us come on this planet and leave this planet without ever achieving that awareness because we're so consumed with what is going on around us and outside of us and we're very connected to the strictures and structures of society. The third eye allows you be a to be able to form an opinion of who you are outside of those strictures and structures of society. So what they say is that when your third eye is open, you know who you are, truly who you are, and you know who you are within the context of this universe, not within the context of society. So it's a greater awareness of who you are. Now, why they say it's dangerous is when you know who you are, then you're not easily controlled. You're not easily led because you can see the truth. Now, I was reading before, you know, a couple of weeks ago that why they consider the third eye, um, opening the third eye dangerous. And this is forcing it open because it's Anywhere you go now, you can read a book or get on the, 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 the internet and find out how to open your third eye. So some people do things to induce the opening of the third eye. They say that that is dangerous because the third eye opening should be a gradual process, just like a fruit ripening, right? A fruit that is sun ripened on the tree is much better than a, a, a fruit that is induced uh, has induced ripening, ripening. So when you induce the opening of your third eye, it may be a shock to your system because now you're able to have a uh, heightened, uh, awareness of your own five senses plus. So you're going to be able to see more. So you're able to see auras. You're able to, um, sense energy, subtle energy. You know that situation where someone walks into the room and you're able to say straight off, I don't like that person or I like that person because you're able to see a lot more than their physical. You're able to see the energetic aspects of them. You're able to hear more. So it means that you're actually able to hear, uh, you know, perhaps voices from other realms. You're able to hear more frequency wise as well, more range and so on. So a lot of musicians, most musicians, the third, third eye is open because they are working around so much frequency that they're just able to perceive more. You're able to smell more, taste more, and then other senses actually come on online. Clear audience, clear sentience, um, clairvoyance, all of that. And you're able to, your intuition is heightened. You can know what is going on um, in, in the future before it happens, which is a little daunting. It's a little scary for some people. Also, when your third eye is open, you have a lot more vivid dreams and the dreams are sometimes confusing because they're so real. And then those vivid dreams mix with your regular dreams and it creates a lot of confusion in your waking life. 
Another thing that happens is that you are able to uh, feel or uh, access other realms. No, that part is scary because when you're able to access them and you don't understand, then you're vulnerable. And so you can have negative um, uh, entities or positive entities um, uh, being attracted or drawn to you or you experiencing them. That can be scary. So this is why people say, you know, don't go that way because it makes your, when your third eye is open, you're more vulnerable to the movement um, or being able to access the different realms. And of course, whatever comes with those realms, right? Now, all of us were cultured to stay on the straight and narrow and don't delve into anything that can, yeah? And this is why they've called it dangerous. It's not really dangerous. It's not going to harm you in any way. It's dangerous to society because no, it means that, you know, persons with their third eye open will not be easily controlled. They can see the truth of the situation. They cannot be fooled very easily. So those are the reasons why they consider it dangerous, but it's not physically dangerous. Another reason why it can be a problem is that it is one of the chakras in the body. You have the root, the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart, the throat, the third eye, and the crown. If you have blockages in any of the other um, chakras, and then you don't resolve those blockages and you try to open this one, then you're going to have a whole mess of an imbalance. And that sometimes leads to what people may perceive as a little bit like a break, uh, a little spell of um, insanity. Because the, the, the circuit board, because remember it's all your central nervous system, is not able to process all of that energy flow that is taking place. So I think it's an important thing to be guided in this area or just to leave it alone and let it happen naturally.